what does this mean when we have decided in general that dogs are our pets, uh, the, our babies? What does that change about our behavior, the human side of the whole equation, right? We are so emotionally primed for the, oh, because what happens to us is that feel-good hormone, the oxytocin, starts pulsing through our veins and we want to nurture it and we want to take care of it. And then, of course, nature reinforces us for doing that for our babies, for taking care of it. Because So we start to feel good while we're taking care of it. We feel like we're being taken care of. So we get hooked and duped into this cycle of looking at them as our babies. But this oversimplistic view of them has a downside. It's created, and of course the pet industry has capitalized on this, a view of them as a species whose entire purpose is to be our babies, to serve us for our bidding. Some of this ties into old concepts of dominion, but we look at them with this one fatal flaw assumption, and then we're constantly judging their behavior according to that standard. So people will come in and complain about behavior problems, that their behavior problems, and I use that loosely, that their dog is exhibiting which really are a result of their projection that he should be doing what I'm telling him to do. He's my baby. Why isn't he sitting and staying? What's his problem? Why doesn't he like it when I kiss him on the forehead repeatedly? <laughs> <laughs> when I pick him up and stick him under my armpit and move him from point A to point B, when he's sleeping and I nudge him, um, when I try to pick up his food bowl, things like that, why does he have a problem with it? Well, he's an animal, right? But we forget that. It's almost as if we treat dogs like the one and only exception to all of natural law. Think about that for a minute. Is there any other species on the face of the planet that we would expect not to defend itself if we suddenly grabbed it and did something to it? I mean, think of your cat. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Everyone's like, real, real clear on that. He'll bite the tar out of you if you do that to him. Give your kitty a bath. See how that goes. <laughs> but when the dog says, I don't want a bath, it's like, what's wrong with him? He bites, you know? Uh, I mean, we don't even judge other people to that extent, right? When, when people defend themselves when they're suddenly manhandled or accosted, we're not surprised. But when a dog does it, he's a bad dog, right? And so working with an organization like Asheville Humane Society, working with animal shelters, you can start seeing the very real horrifying repercussions of this fatal flawed assumption when you look at the millions of dogs that are euthanized in this country every year just because they're misunderstood. So we have to start looking at them scientifically like we would any other animal. We need a new model of understanding.